Hello and welcome back. And today's gonna be a little bit of a throwback because we are going to be unboxing quite literally this Marvel Heroes figure factory. <coughs> Excuse me. This is from Toy Biz and this is from when is I can need a year. This is from 2005. So this is very old. And so I've I've actually seen these as a kid when I was growing up at um when I was growing up I'd go into the local Toys R Us and I still remember seeing these and I never never got to pick one up. So I uh, was looking at my local, one of my local shops and I saw um, this. It's the only one they had. And I was like, I'll pick this up because I've always wanted one. And it's a mystery figure because I believe you could get um, <clears throat> specific ones. But then they had mystery ones. So I wanted a mystery. And so they have like a bunch of different ones. They have series. This is series two, I believe. Yeah, series two. 15 to 35 pieces. Figure, poster, got trading cards. Cooch, four trading cards. And it's got... It can make... It can make the cards can make a whole poster. Collect all 64 double-sided cards. Oh, that would be sick. And uh, does it tell me... It finds 11 things. Has 11 figures. All these different guys. Got a Green Goblin, Iron Man. Looks like... Is that still Iron Man? Thing... Uh, Doctor Doom, Blade, Mr. Fantastic, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider. I'd like a Ghost Rider. He seems cool. Cyclops, Nightcrawler looks sick as well. Alright, so let's further do, let's open this up. Okay, so what we got? We got this little box. Or crate. And then we got trading cards. And we have, what is this? Oh, Marvel Adventures. Oh, I love these. These... If you don't, if you have the chance, pick up some Marvel Adventures comics. I believe they're rebranded now. I forgot exactly what they're called. They're like, oh, there's something, they're, they're like for kids, but Marvel Adventures was sick. Because they had really, had original stories, and um, it was really well written. It was fun. There was nice, like, art. Had some characters that I kind of missed. There was actually, um, Peter Parker had a different girlfriend. And she can talk to animals. And she was a mutant. And I kind of liked her. Because she actually helped Spider-Man do stuff. Oh, I wish I can write in and do this. Got Marvel Adventures and Ultimate Spider-Man. One of my first comic books ever was a Marvel Adventures Fantastic Four. Well, actually, no, it wasn't the first. Uh, actually, one of my first comic books I ever owned was a Fantastic Four... Um comic and I got it at um from uh EB Games or something no it was EB oh what was oh my god I can't remember but I got it was a um, fantastic figure and it came with the Fantastic Four comic and I saw those on Fantastic Four and then um the first like almost complete um series was Marvel Adventures Fantastic Four um uh, from Marvel uh yeah Marvel Adventures and for the life of me I lost them all and I think my mom threw them away. Because I remember putting them away and never finding them. So let's check out these cards that have been sealed for God knows how long. 15 years now, I think? So we got Shatterstar. So let's see. We got... Let's open them. Oh. I don't want to break them. These are nice figures. I mean, they're nice uh, cards. So there's four cards. There's got Shatterstar. Oh, they're just like stuck together. Emma Frost. So we got some X Men. We got Morph, and we have Cannon. Oh my God, that is the lowest poly picture I've ever seen. Like, it looks bad in the camera, but it looks real bad in like in real life. Like, that is bad. It's just a zoomed in random picture. So, um, these are all fun, these are all X-Men, so I wonder if that means we're gonna have an X-Men in this, oh, Jesus, oh, I'm running low on batteries, sorry, I went to go click the message, and I almost lost my camera, so, uh, okay, got some Hulk stuff on the back, 
So I gotta hurry because I got 5% battery. Alright, so let's open up the box. That's cool. And then we got little stickers. 2006. Okay. Uh, we have. And it looks like. I think it says Rhino. Okay, so we got the Rhino. A character that was not on the back of. Yeah, I had no idea this guy was in here. Of all the characters, Rhino? I mean, that's cool. I mean, Rhino's kind of a rare figure to get. I mean, you don't really... You don't see Rhino anymore. Let's see if we can quickly build him. We're a race against time. Alright, so... Let's see how fast they can build this sucker. So... Oh my god, he's got like a wall around him? Let's get the Rhino parts out. So we got the wall parts... Wall part, wall part. What is... Oh my god, there's so many little pieces. I'm just gonna have to build him. So, let's see. Got the head. Oh, come on. Oh. A classic dopey rhino. Eyes on the side. He's got a... Uh, he's pretty thick. Oh! Oh, he's so thick, I can't handle him. Oh. There we go. Come on, they got the leg. Got the other leg. Got an arm. Hold on, that's a head that came off. Come on. Oh my god, these... Oh, I am, like, using all my strength just to get these parts in. Got a, looks like an actual articulated arm. Oh my god, ah, I'm getting like a, god. I'm using all my muscles, I almost sprained something. Come on, oh, I really wish this arm goes in, come on. And his arms pops up, oh, okay. That's not a bad looking figure. Um, this arm moves, which is cool. And then let's see if we can build. What is all this? What is all this? Okay, this goes here. Oh lord. I think this goes here. All my years of refusing to read the Transformers instructions are paying off. That's what I would do as a kid. I would get a Transformers toy. I would refuse to read the instructions. I would do it all by myself. I think this goes here. And I think first try, baby. First try. I've got the base. And then, oh my lord, how am I going to do... This is going to be... A, I, I... Come on. Oh. These are just bricks. What are these, like, tiny little bricks? I'm gonna have... Okay, because, uh, how much battery I got? Doesn't tell me. All right. Welcome back. So, uh, sorry about that. Quick cut. But, uh, my battery died. Of course it did. Right as I was checking it and was gonna, like, maybe try and get the, the charger on. But, uh, so I charge it for a second. And, uh, we're back and... Look what I did. I finished it. It wasn't actually that hard. It, um, it's surprisingly, some p pieces were super hard to put in. Some were loose. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very nice looking figure statue thing. I don't know why people call things figures when they're stat. When I guess not a statue. But I always think of figures as like a figure that you can move. But it's not... I don't know how things work, but... I think that looks really nice. I think the effect is cool. I mean, he's got like bricks flying off him. He's got a little thing you can plug in. A little brick you can plug in. It makes it look like he just busted through this wall. And he's got the little smoke effect. 
and I think this I think these look great I don't know if they make anything like this anymore man if I had these as a kid I think I would have bought a lot more because these all look cool and this guy looks amazing I, I love this brick wall effect of just punching him just punching through it I'm gonna keep I think I'm gonna keep this around for a long time I might have to uh, finagle some pieces make them fit better like this arm his head is a little loose um, probably glue that in probably try to shape that up but get everything settled in and I think I'll glue them in and I think this would be a almost in permanent uh, display in my room somewhere because it's just it's just nice I mean I mean look how dynamic that looks the brick are just flying everywhere it's the perfect shape the little thing little uh, wind effect kicking up dust in the background I mean this just it just looks nice all right so um <clears throat> anything else real quick let's see is there anything I doubt there's anything in here we'll check uh, no, I don't think so. Just filler. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's everything. We got the cards. We got the mini poster thing you're supposed to make of. Um, I guess we got a lot of Hulk cards. Oh, it's double sided, so you can either have a bunch of those guys or a picture of the Hulk, which I think would look sick. But I don't know how you would. I gotta maybe go online see if I can find all these cards. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so that's that. Put the cards in this box. Can they fit in this box? No, they do not. All right. So I got a, a wooden crate for no reason because this guy is so big. I probably put him like that. Put him like that. That looks nice. Look at that. That look cool on a display stand or a, a shelf. Or on your desk. I'd love to have this dude on my desk. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Sorry about that little uh, snafu with the battery. And uh, see you again next time.